you will learn how to work with Azure Custom Airbag Roles. You will create a new custom Azure Airbag role for a NKS cluster, and then you will assign that Airbag role to all the namespaces within the cluster or to a specific namespace. We'll learn how to do that. For a NKS cluster, we have three options for authentication and authorization. Either you handle authentication and authorization within the cluster itself using Kubernetes native features like the role and role binding, or you can perform the authentication part using Azure Active Directory, Azure AD or Azure Intra AD. And for the authorization, you have two options. Either you rely on Kubernetes role binding, and that is the option number one right here, Azure ID authentication with Kubernetes Airbag, or you can handle the authorization using Azure Airbag roles. So with this option, we don't need to create Kubernetes role and role bindings. Let's explore how that works. So within Kubernetes, we have already some Azure built-in roles for AKS. We see here some roles, and those are the same roles that we can see in the Azure portal. If I go to my AKS cluster to access control, then to roles, here I can see the roles for Kubernetes, and I can filter on that, and here, here are. Now if I choose any of these roles, let's say the reader or the writer, for example, and if I click on view right here, from here, I would see the permissions. So I see here two sections for actions and data actions. And we can see here a collection of, of permissions for my cluster. And if I switch here to the JSON view, I would see those permissions available in a JSON file. Let's take a closer look to those JSON files and those roles. So here in my presentation, I have provided that same JSON file with, color, with colors, so we have actually few sections. First section would be the role name, and that is the role Azure Kubernetes Service Airbag Writer, for example. And then we have permis permissions section where we have the actions and data actions. So what is the difference? Let's take a look at the actions. So those are actions related to the Azure resources. So here you can see Microsoft.resources slash subscriptions slash read and slash resource groups slash read. This means if this role was assigned to a resource group or to subscription level, it will be able to read the subscription and to read the resources within the resource group. Data actions now that is specific to the AKS cluster, to the resources within my Kubernetes cluster. So here I'll be dealing with Kubernetes native objects like deployments, jobs, secrets, config maps, network policies, ingresses, pods, and so on. So this means here actions are for the management plane for Azure and data actions are for the data plane for the AKS cluster. So those are the roles that the Azure Kubernetes Service Airbag Writer have the, the permissions to perform. So it can, can perform all the actions for deployments because here we have slash Asterix, this means the star here means that it can perform all the actions. It can get deployments, delete deployments, edit deployments, and so on. And note here we have two other sections for not actions and not data actions. This is to exclude some permissions. So when you see this role definition, don't you remember the Kubernetes native role where you can define here the kind role and the resources that that role can perform, like here, getting, listing, and watching for pods, for example. Azure Airbag roles are just an alternative to this approach, where here the difference is that you will perform or you will define those roles not inside your AKS cluster, but you will define it on Azure Management Plane. So you define it at a higher level, and then you can apply it to one or multiple of your AKS clusters. Now, as we have those built-in or predefined airbag roles, we can actually create our own custom airbag role. And here I have an example. This JSON file here will be called the AKS deployment reader. And as the name suggests, this role will be able to read the deployments of my cluster. The deployment here, I mean Kubernetes deployment objects. So for that here, to give it that airbag role, I, you see here within data actions, we are assigning it the role for the Kubernetes slash apps slash deployments slash read. So it means here it can do the commands Kubernetes get deployments, for example. And then we can here assign or define unassignable scopes if you want to limit this role to only one subscription, for example. So we define this role into a JSON file, and then we can send to this file to the Azure policy, or sorry, the Azure airbag by using the command az role definition create role definition, and then the name of your JSON file, and then Azure will recognize this role. So then later you can go to assign that role to an AKS cluster. And that 
could be done by using the command az role assignment create the name of the role note here i'm using the same name and then the assignee whether that is your user id or another active directory group and then you specify the scope that could be your aks cluster and note here it's very important that for the scope, you can specify all the namespaces in the cluster, or you can specify a specific namespace like cube system, for example. So this is very important. Today, we cannot do this through the Azure portal. You can do it only through the command line or through Terraform or through Bicep also. Follow me next for a demonstration.